Sarah and Anthony married when Sarah was at the tender age of 18, and Anthony was only 24. They believed their young love could withstand everything. But now, after only two years of marriage, they barely can stand each other. He says, no, we're not going anywhere. I don't like how you are talking to me. You need to write sentences. You need to write 100 times, I will obey my husband before we leave the door. It's a wife's job to obey. It's stated in the Bible, a wife is to obey. Sarah says she's done with Anthony's need for control. And Anthony says he's had enough of Sarah's disobedience. Today, on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Sarah Johnson and Anthony Jones. The two of you have been married for two years. You uh, dated six months before you got married. You have no children together. You do not want to be married anymore. And uh, Ms. Johnson, you want transitional support, and we will deal with that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to start with Ms. Johnson. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Um, from the beginning, he has been nothing but a control freak. I can't express to you how much um, he controls every aspect of my life. Um, as an example, one day um, I had a doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. And I called my doctor's appointment the day before. I always do to make sure what time my doctor's appointment sure. is. And the day came, I woke up at 7 to get ready. And he woke up and he is arguing with me, saying my doctor's appointment is at 9 instead of 10. And I sat there and I told him, I said, no, it is at 10. I called yesterday. It is in my book. Why don't you go look at my book? And he's still arguing with me. So finally, I get really irritated. And I said, no, it's at 10. Get in the car and let's go. <sighs> he says, no, we're not going anywhere. I don't like how you are talking to me. You need to write sentences. You need to write 100 times. I will obey my husband before we leave the door. <laughs> so in order for me to leave, I sat down and I write the sentences. I write, 100 times, I will obey my husband. Oh, wow. um, and you weren't even right. Were you right? I was right. I'm always right. Well, I mean, always right. Is, are you right because you said it, or are you, are you right when the rest of the world is looking? I mean, was the time the time she said it was, or was it the time you said it was? It was the time I said it was. No, what? it was 10 o'clock. He said it was no. 9, it was 10. <laughs> Why would you 10. argue about something like that? Why wouldn't you just look? Why wouldn't you just call? What's the need to, to get angry about something like that? What, why do you feel you need to go there? Because that's who I am, and I'm always right. And it's, it's, it's a wife's job to obey. Uh -huh. You know what, you, Your Honor? It's stated in the Bible, uh -huh. a wife is to obey the Might husband. Might I add no, that? No, no, no. What, what does it say right before that? Right uh, after that? It doesn't matter. No, yes, it does. She is to obey Yes, it does. You, can, you can't cherry pick the Bible. If you're going to use it, you've got to use the whole thing. Well, the whole thing. You don't get the cherry pick. I, I, it says I, a whole lot around it about what a man is obligated to do and what kind of following a wife needs to follow. You, ha she has to follow you like you follow. Don't even know. <laughs> so don't cite it, and if you don't know it, that's number one. Number two, I understand you want to save the marriage. This is what it says here. Did I get it wrong? You hit the you hit the nail on the head with the hammer. Yeah, yeah. So you do want to save the marriage if she's willing to obey. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to save the marriage. You just don't want to leave. She, she has wifely duties that she's responsible for. Well, tell me what wifely duties she has failed to perform. For example, yeah, Your Honor, the, the cleaning of the house. If she says she's going to clean the house, I expect it done. She tells me, for example, one day, oh, baby, honey, snooty pie, and all this good stuff. I, I'm going to do the dishes. She leaves the dishes in the sink overnight. I wake up the next morning. There they are, sitting in the same nasty, dirty water. That's disgusting. If you're going to do your wifely duties, do them. Do them right the first time or shut your mouth. You want to know why they, you want to know why they were in the sink? Why were they in the sink? Um, he told me, oh, honey, it's OK. I'll get them done. Amazing. They weren't done. So I had to go do them that morning in the dirty, nasty sink. OK. He says absolutely nothing. I do the cleaning. Um, I take care of our dogs. I work. I bring in the money. And he, he does, doesn't work? No, not. not uh, he got hurt on his job. He was working. I'll give him that. He was working. He got hurt. He hasn't put in any effort to find another job. How long has he been off work? Um, about six months. Okay. 
They say a little about something about that in the Bible too, about how a man is supposed to provide for his wife. But that's cool. Go I'll, ahead. Get, I'll get to that. Hang on. I'll get to that. Don't worry. Hang on. I was cleaning. I also do school online um, at night, so I was doing school. I was up until two. Um, usually, which was fine with me. Usually, he's up until late. Um, and then he goes, well, it's 2 o'clock. You need to shut it down and go to bed. Wasn't done. I was almost finished. And I said, can I just finish real quick? No, nope, time to go to bed. Shut it down, went to bed. He woke me up at 6 o'clock the next morning and told me I needed to clean the house. So I got up and I cleaned the house. Mr. Jones, did you, did you care to respond? I would love to. Great. First of all, let me state by saying she's a crybaby. Uh -huh. She's annoying. Uh -huh. And for example, she's a liar. OK. I've been out of work for the last two months. I got hurt on my job, and I've been constantly searching for work day in and day out and day in and day out. In case, you, no offense, in case you haven't noticed, this economy sucks. Mm -hmm. But recently, I did find a job. Now see, Mr. Mr. Jones, let me ask you something. Why did you feel the need to say, in case, the, in case you haven't noticed? First of all, you want to save your marriage. I'm the woman that can help you, without, help you with that. But you find it so necessary to try to belittle me that you're doing belittling a person that can do you harm or good, but, but it was more important to, to try to belittle me. Do, do you see that? No. Do, do, do you see uh, that? No. I was, just, I was just stating a fact. No, you don't say if you haven't noticed, it's not a statement of fact. That's not a statement of fact. You and I both know that. It, it, it's what a jerk says when he's trying to be cute. That's what happens. And my question to you is, do you have enough self, uh, enough perspective on yourself to see what you're doing and how it's not getting you what you want? I have plenty of self-perspective all this. It's that I don't have self-perspective. When Divorce Court continues, what's love got to do with it? Do you love her? We know you blame her for all your woes, but what I want to know is, do you love her? Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce Court is back with the case of Sarah Johnson, who claims she's done being bullied by her husband, Anthony. But according to Anthony, Sarah simply needs to grow up. What's so annoying about her? She walks around the house, turning this light on, turning that light on, turning this light on, and just leaves them. Sarah, turn the light off. If you don't want to get treated like a child, don't act like one. You talked to my people before we came here, and you said you were, you are a self-proclaimed ass. You, you said that. Is that, is that what you believe? You got that one. Proud right. of it. And, and you're proud of it. And it's getting you what you want, and you're, enjoy, you're a happy person. You enjoy your life. To an extent. Not as much as you'd like, though, right? No. Do you know why that is? No. Do, do you think you are man enough to have the capacity to get the life you want if it isn't the one you have? I know I can. Okay. What would you do about it? I would change her. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. It, it, okay. I got that. I got that. Now, what does she need to change? What's, why is, what's so annoying about her? For example, Your Honor, she's disrespectful. Okay. Tell and me. For, for, for example on that, she had called her friend and they were talking about me one day. And I have no idea what they were talking about. I just constantly hear her, because I was standing at the back door. I was listening. I had my ear on the door. And I could hear her. And she'd walk away from the door, walk around the corner of the back of the house. Oh, yeah, Anthony does this, whispering. An Anthony, I hear, well, I don't know how I'm supposed to change it. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. And the next day, her friend calls. I see the phone number. Hello? Hello? Click. Wait five, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Click. So I call her back. What the hell is your problem hanging on when I answer my phone? Mm -hmm. Click. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's disrespectful. She doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. She doesn't say nothing to her friends. Mm -hmm. The other annoying thing, she walks around the house, turning this light on, turning that light on, turning this light on, and just leaves them. Mm -hmm. Sarah, turn the light off. If you don't want to get treated like a child, don't act like one. OK. Mr. Jones, do you love her? We know you blame her for all your woes, but what I want to know is, do you love her? 
I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know? Are you a little concerned that you're not really sure you're capable of loving? I mean, yes, Your Honor, I, I do love her, because I'm man enough to stand here and say that to you. Yes, I do love her, but I don't love her ways. But, but, but that's, we're not talking about that. First of all, you're not going to get a perfect woman, because they don't exist. You're not perfect, she's not perfect. So you, can, you can't say that. You love people for who they are. You know, you, you know, warts and all. And you couldn't tell me that you loved her, and I think you couldn't tell me because you thought it sounded weak. Did I get that right? I'm not weak. I said it made you sound weak and makes you... I think you're insecure as all get out. I think you're frightened. <laughs> mean people... Pe mean people run around throwing darts because they're afraid they're gonna get hurt. That's what all bullies do. All bullies are, are afraid. People who are really strong and capable and able don't need to spew dark everywhere they go because they feel comfortable. And I think that you're an ass. <laughs> don't want to be an ass, but don't know how to stop. When Divorce Court continues, Judge Lynn opens up. I'm going to describe somebody to you. Frightened, nervous breakdown, afraid of people, afraid to speak, won't go to parties. That was me. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Anthony Jones, a self-professed bad boy. But will Anthony be open to Judge Lynn's invitation to change? I'm asking you, do you want to today take on the task of not being a jerk anymore. I'm asking, would you take some help from me if I could give it to you? You know, Your Honor, I've been doing this for 20 some odd years now, because I'm, I'm 26 right now. I've been doing this my whole doing life. Doing what? Being an ass. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're, you're right. Okay. I'm willing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe somebody to you. Frightened, Nervous breakdown, afraid of people, afraid to speak, won't go to parties, can't get in a car. I know somebody like that. He's not in front of you. No, well, that was me. That was who I was. I had my first nervous breakdown at nine. So you can't tell me that this is who I've been for 26 years and I can't be anything else. If I can take that frightened little girl who was hiding in a closet because she felt the world wasn't safe enough to be in and, and move out, sit on a bench, and go on television and write books and, and ro uh, ride around the country, still don't like to fly, get in a plane anyway. <laughs> if I can change, you can change. I'm asking you, do you want to, today, take on the task of not being a jerk anymore? I'm asking you. Yes, I do. <laughs> You've heard that before, right? Uh, oh, yeah. And you don't believe him? No. And, 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 and here's what I'm gonna say to you. You need to roll. You need, you, you need to go and you need to go safely, because I don't know how off he is, but you need to talk to somebody about how to leave an abusive situation safely. I, I did leave. Um, last straw was he cheated on me. And, and it wasn't just with, uh, you know, with anybody. He cheated on me with an ex. Did you do that? Yeah. Why? I did, but yet here she is. You're I, 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 I'm jealous. She, I She's am. here and in the divorce court. You're and damn I'm straight, jealous. here I am. And you know what? You She's can say that I'm annoying one. all you she want. She left, she came back, but and yet here she is. But let me tell you something. You can break me down to the tiniest person, but I'm still gonna be me, mm -hmm. and that's annoying, outgoing, beautiful person I am. I will always be that, whether it's with you or someone else. Yeah, okay. But and you ever, need, and, and Ms. Johnson, okay. you need to believe that. 
You're, you're not who he tells you you are. You're not a person who needs to write sentences. And if you're with someone who proclaims love for you but cannot show it, you are really, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Please, I mean, you're, you're a kid, you're 20. You, I'm 20 and I got married at 18. Do you have somewhere to go? You got family? I don't, they that's don't the reason why either. I stayed. There is no making this marriage work. I'm done, yeah. he can go be a jerk to someone else. When divorce court continues, does Judge Lynn make any headway with Anthony? Or is he unwilling to change? And I want $500 a month so I can Please. leave. I'm not giving her nothing. Divorce Court returns with the case of Sarah Johnson and Anthony Jones, who after only two years of marriage are ready to throw in the towel. The first thing that you have to do differently is speak the truth. So speak the truth to me here to say, I'm a jerk. Can you say I'm a jerk? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Change is hard. <laughs> Bravery is doing that which is hard for you, not which is difficult for somebody else. Say it, I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. And I don't want to be a jerk. And I'm done being a jerk. And I want to be the man that she can love. I want to be the man she can love. I want to be the man she can love. <laughs> and I also want to love myself. And I want to love myself. So I got to change. So I will change. So can we have that? I can do that. You can do that. I, you need counseling. You need to go to somebody not go angry, but go willing and go open and go often. But while you're disabled, while you can't work, you need to work on that. She needs to leave you until you're man enough to be with her and not hurt her. And it should hurt you that, it hurt, that you hurt her. And until you're hurt by her hurt, you haven't achieved anything. I, I wrote a book about how, how I went from crazy to a woman who traces storms, I want you to read that. And it has rules about how you change who you are and what you do, how you name what's wrong and how you make it right. Ms. Johnson, you wanted $12,000 in transitional support. Explain that to me. Um, I want $500 a month so I can Please. leave. Um, I don't know how good that's gonna do considering he doesn't have a job, but uh, maybe this will make him get a job. And what is your response to that, Mr. Jones? Honestly? Yeah. I'm not giving her nothing. $500 a month, do you think that's too much to ask from you? Yes. If you do want to leave, I will award you $500 a month uh, in transitional support up to and including $10,000. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. We now join Judge Lynn and Anthony in chambers where they are already in progress. Anthony, I'm not mad at you, but I want to work for you. When I grew up, the only way to get attention was to be bad. You know what? I was good at it. You were good at it. And you did what you had to do to get what you needed. And I'm going to tell you something. I do think you're a strong man, and I do think you're a brave man. And the bravery that you can show is to be vulnerable to a woman who loves you. I wasn't strong for what I did to her, for no, how I talked to her. Mm -mm. When you run into a situation, you don't know how to handle it nicely because you, 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 you don't have any reference for it. So I'm going to have you talk to Deanie Kramer, and I want to get you hooked up with somebody in your hometown to help you walk through that pain. It's not going to be easy, Anthony, I'm telling you, but don't you want it? I don't want my daughter to grow up thinking that a man is supposed to be this way towards a woman. Absolutely. Or my son to think it's okay to tell his wife later down the road that because she's not obedient. Right. Because yeah, you love her. She's not Play Doh. Yeah. I can't she's make her what I want. She's going to play your script. Your daughter's going to play the script that you write for her. And do you want her to live the life that your wife's been living? It would kill you, wouldn't it? I don't want that for any woman. Believe it or not. Oh, I believe you. I believe you completely. So if we hook you up, will you get the help? If we, if, if we get you started, I you will. need to know you can change and that you're not a bad person and you're not the sum of what you've done. You're just your history. And now we're going to move past your history into your future. Do you believe that? I know I can make history better. Absolutely. I know you can. Good luck to you, Anthony.